Okie dokie. So I have been unmolding a lot of my larger new molds. You can look at the other videos before these videos to see them. Got a lot more cool ones coming up, but these are the cool ones that I'm showing you now. So I did a couple little, little tiny jersey molds. So the color was blue, green, black diamond. I like them. I like them a lot. And here's the second one. So this is them in the blue-green. Okay, so these will be listed up in the next 24 hours. Oh, let me show that one over here. And of course, if you look at the previous video, you will see this one and unmolded came out beautiful and of course the other ones are on the video as well here's another little new um, a new little sparkle necklace let's see how this turns out I don't know if we're going to like this or not It came out super sparkly. It's a cute little one. And it even has the little loop on there. cute little guys and just for you know what's and giggles I'll show you a couple other little cute things that I made um, this is not my mold I just wanted to try out the try out the mold I let's see I got this mold from AliExpress and I had a little bit of leftover resin, so this is what I did with it. I'll be making some of my own soon, but I just have not gotten around to it. That's the front of it. Really get my camera to focus on that. There it goes. And that's the back of it. It's 
kind of cute and interesting. A little kid would like that, I'm sure. A little bookmarker. I have to put a ribbon on it. And here's another one. I just was fooling around. I just, after it was already done, I just, almost done, I just pushed a, a few of these little rhinestones in it and put a little piece of iridescent cre-cut foil on top of it. And this is the blue-green, black diamond pouch. So this is a tiny little bookmark. Just something cute, something fun to do with my leftover resin. And at some point I'll be making my own. Let me get another. Cute little, cute little doohickey. And then I made this out of one of my, um, out of one of my Super Sparkle Mold um, samples of my Super Sparkle Mold, which I wasn't totally crazy about. I did not like how that one came out. I did a little one with my granddaughter's name on it. I just pushed all these little things into the resin when it was about six hours in. This is a 24-hour resin, so it was pretty... Um, pretty thick by the time I sat and did that. So that's just something a little cute that I was playing with. Grammy likes to play. I do, I do, I do, I do. So... Just fooling around. I couldn't wait to get these these out of the uh, pressure pot. You know, in this epoxy, you have to leave in 24 hours. So my new oblong dish. I really love how this one came out. So all these are going to be getting listed up. Um... And I'm going to sneeze. I'm going to take this one and this one and this little guy and the the last uh, round Super Sparkle Jersey mold that I made. And I think I'm going to put all four of them together in one mold. Uh, maybe next week I can get to that. Um, if I can get to it this week, I'll try this week. I started... Another new mold that I made, but this is tomorrow when I do some resin. First, I put um, some blue and gold into these little spots on this one, and then I put them in the pressure pot. And then when I do my next resin, I'm going to fill in the other holes with different colors and put it back in the pressure pot and then take it out again, and then I'll put a background color on this. So this is going to be, end up going in like three times. But this is a new um, cross mold. So that's going to be going up. That'll be getting listed up too. I, I haven't listed that one up yet. Because it's not done. Because I'm still playing around with it. Um... Well, how many minutes are we at? Nine minutes and 40 seconds. So I'm going to end this one. Um, I'm trying to make some videos shorter and uh, keep it interesting. So please comment, good or bad. Go to the website, check it out. I have eight coupon codes listed. They're $20 codes. There's one $30 one. That's just for the food grade molds. And I can make food grade molds out of most of what I have. 
on the website, but I have to have request because that product cost more than the uh, silicone mold that I'm using, which already is expensive. And this food grade stuff is even more expensive. So I have some samples of crystal food grade molds up, but I'm not going to sit around and make a bunch of molds with that. I'm going to wait till I get requests. So if the, any cake makers or whatever have requests for anything that they may see, even, even these kind, um, I'll be more than happy to, um, you know, you, you pay for the mold and I'll make the mold for you. Okay. Um, so check everything out and uh, leave your comments. Go to bed. Make something beautiful. Rock on. Ciao. And thank you for all your support. It's well appreciated.